Hello, Vanessa. This is some video feedback for you on week seven, and um, I'll also look at this week's uh, discussion board just to make sure that I'm looking at the most recent version. Vanessa, before I get into the details, uh, I wanted to say that overall this is uh, really beautiful. I like this initial image. It's very elegant. Good to have something, maybe inset, that has an image of food just to sort of place a, oh, well, down here we've got them. I like this arrangement of uh, images too, by the way, and uh, I like the spacing. Um, on a mobile platform, this will probably be stretched edge to edge. I like when you've bled the images off and your navigation remains in the same place. Now also, before I forget, um, at this point, I'm looking at week seven, I think, uh, you're getting the drop down to work. Let's see. Like I can go to the drinks menu. Oh, you've got the dinner menu working too. Well, I think at one point the drop down wasn't working, uh, but it does seem to be working now. Really nice job. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I want that. I'll take a look at your coding. Um, I have a project in mind for that kind of drop down. Your child pages are all fleshed out. Uh, your imagery is cohesive. I like this unequal two column grid, uh, the asymmetrical. It's very interesting to me. And um, you've also uh, been able to use a variety of file formats. Uh, this <clears throat> logo, which is uh, transparent, floats nicely on both an image as well as on uh, that red solid that you've got it on. I want to link this back to the home page. Oh, I see that you've done that. Good job. Now, with your coding, um, I see that you have an external style sheet. Let me make sure I'm at the home page. And I do see that you have an external style page, a style sheet rather, and I see that it's really nicely coded. Um, especially for positioning, you seem to have mastered that. And lest I forget, um, you have a nice footer here with contact information. Um, and hours. You might consider putting, you know, dummy social media links, just a suggestion. Your typography is really superior. I like the size relationship of these heads to your uh, text. It looks really good. Um, at some later point, you might consider putting real um, language in there. But I appreciate the um, pseudo Latin placeholders. And each of your pages, your dummy pages, or child pages, excuse me. Um, I don't want to insult your child pages, uh, has a different image on it. So it's nicely detailed. These are, I'm assuming, are done in um, another application, what, InDesign or perhaps Illustrator. Very nice posters. They make, they make little, like little mini posters. Vanessa, as much as possible, I wanted to address your questions. Uh, one of the things you mentioned was that <clears throat> you're going to make the home page images below the header image into graphics. What do you mean by that? Um, JPEGs that have type and, say, photography on them, like the posters on the, the upcoming events? wasn't sure. Um, you weren't a big fan of how the text below them looks. If you're talking about the header image, well, let's go to it. And you're talking about the header image, which is uh, this nice calligraphy. Also, you know, get a native Chinese speaker to make sure that this isn't something out of context. Uh, who understands that? Are you talking about this copy uh, between the header image and these images? Um, yeah, maybe, you know, or at least figure out how to get it, place it transparently over the header image. Maybe that's your solution. You might have to change the color of the, of the text. The text might have to be white or maybe this uh, cream color. Um, you might be able to use the corporate red for the uh, head color, but uh, maybe superimposing it, but keeping it editable. You know, when you say make a graphic, uh, if you do that, then the type no longer is editable. So as much as possible, see what you can do, and you can do a lot with CSS on your typography. I mean, you've got to start here too. I like the way that this is both editable, but also uh, superimposed of the background image. Consider moving forward, you know, how to organize your files. Um, this will become an issue later. And file paths are related to navigation, as you understand uh, clearly. Great job, Vanessa, and I look forward to seeing your final website.